Yeah, um, controlling this guy's role is uh, a little difficult. But that's all we can do with the snowball. You literally, it, it exists to push, push two switches. Yeah, not not a very great transformation if you ask me. It's interesting in concept with the fact that its size is tied to its HP. But yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. It's probably my least favorite transformation in the game. Right up there with the... Uh, right up there probably with the stony and the detonator. Anyhow, at this point, there's a couple things we can do, so we gotta figure out a way to actually be able to play those kickball games, because we thought that Humbo was gonna turn us into a stony again, and it's good that she didn't, because that would've just been a cop-out transformation, but now we gotta figure out a way to actually access it, so let's go to the fireside lower area for Mumbo. Yeah, there's no world entry and exit, although the Mumbo... I think the warp pad that says it's near Mumbo is closer to the world entry and exit than it is to being close to Mumbo. Yeah, believe it or not, there's actually a warp pad that's closer to Mumbo than the one that says this is where Mumbo is. I'll show that off in a bit. <laughs> but first, we want to go to the Colosseum. So remember how we blew up the wall in here and there's a tiny little, like, hole in it? And I said, oh, we're not going to go in there just yet. Well, now we are going to go in there. So from the center where there's the staircase, to the right, there's the wall you can blow up and a tiny little hole here. And you'll never guess where this takes us. Welcome back to the Mayan Kickball Stadium Lobby. Yeah, remember way back in the first world, there's this tiny little gate that I didn't really comment on? Yep, that was actually linking to World 7. So what we can do here, is we can go to Wumba's Wigwam, turn into the Stony, go back to this lobby, and then we can actually take the Stony transformation into Hailfire Peaks, despite it normally having strict rules that you can't take transformations outside to different worlds. It's, it's really cool. Yeah. I actually really like that. Even though it's like it's breaking the rules of the, that the game has established earlier, I think it's very well done. Yeah. Plus it gives the stony a little more love, I guess. <laughs> I don't think it's deserving of a whole lot of love, but hey. It's so, this is the kind of thing though which makes me love Banjo Tooie, just how interconnected all of the worlds are. It's really great. And I feel like more games should do it. Anyhow, we can jump up here, go off to the Coliseum. Now, I don't think we can take the Stony outside of the lobby. I'm pretty sure if we try to leave this area, then Wumba's gonna be like, the transformation not work that far. Yep. Humba magic not work if go through there. Only Baron Bird can leave. So I guess this part of the world is kind of considered to be part of the uh, Mayahem Temple. We can jump up these stairs bit by bit. Hello, Mr. Stony. Welcome to the Coliseum Professional Kickball Championships. We like to do things a little differently here. The lowest score always wins. We're just about to begin the quarterfinals. Yeah, so we actually get to play kickball again, which is kind of cool. I mean, that minigame was all right. Not great, but all right. And now the rules are different. Instead of trying to get the most points, you're trying to get the least points, which changes up the strategy a lot and makes it a lot more difficult. Coliseum kickball quarterfinal. Hey, guys. Welcome. It's been a while. This ain't the Mayan League now! May the best Stony win. Yeah, so we want to kick the yellow balls into the other players' goals, not into our own. Alright, yellow needs some points. Interception! So the first, the first rounds are really easy. But remember, even in the Mayan leagues, the final games were a little tricky. Or the final game was a little tricky.
thankfully the AI is not spiteful and constantly trying to hit into your goal and your goal only. So that was actually really easy. You've won your quarterfinal, now you may move on to the semifinals. I'm really glad when games don't implement spiteful AI where it's not like every AI is trying to win for themselves. It's like, no, the AI collectively as a whole is trying to make sure you, the human, lose. Coliseum Kickball, semifinal. You're playing with the big boys now. Playing with the big boys now. May the best Stony win. So now, you, we all start with a bunch of points. We all start with 50, and we're trying to kick the red balls into our own goals. I fail to see how this is any different than the Mayan kickball. It's just... Oh, now the balls are a different color. Okay. Yellow stony... Okay, now it's kind of like the purple and red guys are all gaining up on me, trying to steal my balls. And then the yellow guy's just like... Ha, ha, ha. Alright. Yay! We still won. You've won your semi-final, the Coliseum Kickball Final awaits. Okay, I can't remember if this one is actually really tough or if the kickball in general is just not that hard. It is cool how the kickball gets brought back. I mean, they did implement an entire, like, minigame for this Coliseum Kickball Final. You'll never be the Coliseum Champion! Well, they said that about the Mayan Champion. May the best Stony win. Can we get negative points? No, we can't. Okay. <laughs> oh, poor purple. How dare you? So now you kind of have to prioritize, do I want to give points to other people, or do I want to try to lower my own points? Right now the AI is being a little, little anti-human, I'll say. Yeah, look at this. They're all, yeah, they are all kicking the yellow balls into my goal. Nice try, but you didn't get the lowest score. That's because literally all three of them were only kicking yellow balls into my goal. Yeah, that this is where the spiteful AI is kicking in a little bit. I think I literally have to just kind of guard my goal. the best Tony win. Yellow needs some points. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Two of them kicked yellow balls towards me. Look at this. Gosh, are you serious? Ha! Ah. Yeah, what can you do when all three of them are kicking yellow balls into your goal? Alright, yeah, I, I don't like how the AI is getting more spiteful against the humans here. Yeah, I think, I think new strategy, I need to focus more on hitting yellow balls into whoever is leading. Like, for example, like, purple is con it has, like, no points and nobody's kicking balls into purple. Like, no, come on. Yeah, look at that. They're literally working as a team to make sure I don't win. Look at this! Okay, the yellow balls are literally spawning here. Oh, stupid. Are you kidding? Ah. Yeah, this is a lot more difficult than all the other kickball rounds. It's like the dodging them. It's a free-on one. 
What can you do when they're all just hanging out around your goal and the yellow balls are constantly spawning near your goal? Not much you can do. Move away from the goal for two seconds, and all of a sudden... Wait, red has... red needs more points. No! Come on! There's always one computer player that they just flat out refuse to kick yellow balls into their goal. Uh, it... you have to... you have to guard your goal, but you... If you guard your goal, you can't kick into the red goal. Alright, new strategy. We're gonna get, make sure red gets picked. We're gonna try to, our best to make sure that red gets points right from the get-go. There we go. Now if yellow balls get near us, we can try to knock them away. Oh, that is just not fair. Yeah, suck it. <laughs> you stupid AI. There we go, at last. I declare you the new Coliseum Kickball Champion. The other rounds didn't count. Do we get a trophy? Of course. They only actually started counting the rounds being victorious once I won. So I guess that's a little unfair. <laughs> Still though, wow. That wasn't even a case of like, oh, I was leading, so they are going to try to bring me down a peg, which would make sense. No, that was literally just a case of like, constantly kick yellow balls into The only time they stopped trying to kick it in is if I stepped away from my goal. If I was in the way, they were like, okay, no. But then there would always be, the, like, whoever was my biggest competition, they would not kick into their goal. That was tough. Ugh. <sighs> It's really hard to beat the AI when the AI all collectively te teams up against the human. <laughs> you see that a lot in some of the higher difficulty games. Like, once you start getting to the higher CCs of Mario Kart, <laughs> it's literally, it's not each CPU is trying to win first. It's all of the CPUs are working together to make sure that you win last. <laughs> or at least so to make sure that you lose to your main competition. <laughs> But enough about Mario Kart. <laughs> Alright, now we need to pay Mumbo a visit. Because now we actually have access to Mumbo's pads. And I gotta say, Mumbo is definitely at his most powerful in this world. Like... Mumbo's power in this world is just crazy. Like, he's definitely proving himself to be the most powerful shaman in the game. In this world. That, it, by the way, is a staircase that will lead downwards. At least I believe. Let me just double check. I am 99% sure that this just leads down. Yep. Leads down over to where this evil honeycomb uh, monster is. Alright. Gotta deal with that, the lava hands now. Thank you, game, for very blatantly not letting me shoot the egg even when I push the button. Okay, also, can you imagine how much damage we'd be taking if we did not have the fallproof cheat? Because, like, if you. All of these drops are basically just enough that you'll take fall damage from. And we. It really racks up a lot of damage. Alright. 
So here's something that I want to point out, and this is something that I did not know on my first playthrough of the game, and it really, really helps to know. Remember the signpost says that Hot and Cold are linked in the Hut and Wigwam. Well, one of the walls in here is ever so slightly cracked. It's extremely easy to miss, but that wall over here is cracked. We can blow it up. And there's a secret passage in Mumbo's skull that leads to Wumba's wigwam. Yes, yeah, so we can move pa through this uh, little <laughs> hanging scroll, and it leads to Mumbo's skull. Now, this doesn't sound like a much, but tr tr trust me, that is ridiculously helpful. Remember how I said that getting to Mumbo's skull from the Mumbo warp pad is actually really annoying and it's kind of far away? It is much easier to access Mumbo's skull from the Wumba's Wigwam warp pad to just run to Wumba's Wigwam and then take the shortcut in here. Uh, uh, Welcome uh, again, uh, Baron Bird. Uh, We've got a Guobo! Uh, Must uh, give magic uh, creature to Mumbo if want help. Uh, uh, want Mumbo's help. As always. Sure, we need all the help we can get. Throw it in Mumbo's bag. Alright, hey Mumbo. Yeah, and uh, trust me, Mumbo basically can't do anything on the fiery side. He just dies so quickly, and it's even it's basically impossible for him to navigate it. So, because all of his pads are on the icy side, we're just gonna take the shortcut from Wumba's Wigwam. I'm sure Wumba won't mind. And then we can make uh, we can <laughs> play as Mumbo for the shortest amount of time, which is the way I like to do it. Anyhow, are you ready for the crazy magical power that Mumbo has in this world? Oh. Okay, well, I am ready for it. It's just... <laughs> Sorry, Mumbo a little clumsy. Also, the camera was not great, and ice physics suck. I still stand by this statement. Ice physics suck. The only time... There are only two games in which I actually enjoy ice physics. The first was in the original Rayman with, like, Allegro Presto, which was actually a fun level to do with ice physics. And the other is Ultimate Chicken Horse, where ice physics can be used to your advantage. Hope this works. Life Force, Alien Dad. Yeah, Mumbo can literally bring people back to life in this world. Mumbo, who? Grunty should have hired Mumbo. Big drop hurt lots. Where am I? You dead. Mumbo used powerful shaman magic. You alive. Didn't need puny airflame magic. Could have used special powers instead. Spaceman ungrateful. Waste Mumbo's time. We should teach lesson. Sorry, strange friend. My special powers are low and we need your help. Our three children escaped the ship before we crashed in the lagoon. If you can find and return them to me safely, I'll bestow the Earth with wondrous gifts. Mumbo like gifts, not tacky alien merchandise, though. <laughs> Kids will be hiding from danger until they detect alien signal. Mumbo impressed, but Mumbo magic better. There's a baby down there beneath that ice. There's a baby down there beneath that ice. And there's a baby up there. He looks cold. Ouch. Anyhow, there's one other uh, mumble pad over here. Hey, buddy. Many thanks, Earthling Magic Man. If you see that bear, tell him to hurry up and get all my kids back. I feel bad for Papa Alien. Losing your kids is not a pleasant experience. Nope, that's the wrong way to go. If Mumbo goes to Boggy's igloo, can he talk to Boggy? That would, I, I have not tried this before. See, the dragon is still trying to kill me as usual. Greetings, fat bear. Sorry, but I'll only talk to Banjo or Kazooie. Ow. 
Rude. Like, literally, that's it. <laughs> My wife and kids suck. Only Banjo and Kazooie. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Anyhow, here's the upper mumble pad. Hope this works. Life Force on Saberman. Apparently, Saberman is from a different game made by Rareware. So, nice cameo here. Looks like he f got frozen alive. But oh, we're gonna melt him. Melt uh, the ice around him, I mean. Many thanks, young sir. Why, I've been frozen in there since 1984. Mumble thinks seen crazy old men before, perhaps? That's quite possible. I come from a golden age where wolves were kings. The name Saberman. Adventuring is my game. Or at least was my game. What cable man doing in Ice Block? That cursed saber wolf chased me all the way here, where I was frozen in my tracks by the ice dragon. I'm rather cold. Could you see your way to warming me up? Mumble not do that, but no bear that might. Ouch. Head first in the ice, and Mumbo just shrugs it off because thanks, Fallproof. I say, any chance of a little heat? We'll, I'll see what I can do. I actually think this is a level where you need to use Mumbo multiple times. Maybe. <laughs> wow, Mumbo could kill the Bigfoots really quickly. Like, more quickly than Banjo can. That's kind of amazing. Alright, you stupid dragon. There is a way to get the dragons to stop spitting stuff at you, and if you're playing this casually, I do recommend that you do that as soon as possible. It makes your life in these, this world a lot easier. I, however, am going to purposefully inflict maximum pain on myself until the end. <laughs> Oh. Don't worry, Mumbo, we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs>